let's review, shall we, with Chelsea Manning receiving 35 years in prison for the largest unapproved leak of national security information. Manning was uh, convicted in July on charges related to espionage. Receiving 35 years, um, Manning could be free within 10 years uh, on probation. But Adam Serwer at uh, MSNBC and Nick Wing at Huffington Post break down some other people who were convicted of uh, national security breaches and what their, what their prison sentences were. David Hicks, an Australian national who was captured fighting alongside the Taliban and sent to Guantanamo Bay in prison in 2002, he pled guilty to material support for terrorism, was sentenced to seven years in confinement. It was reduced to nine months given time already served. William Colton Millay pled guilty earlier this year to attempted espionage and other counts after selling secrets to an FBI undercover agent who he believed was a Russian spy. He was a U.S. Army policeman. He'd faced a maximum sentence of confinement for up to life without the possibility of parole. He received 16 years. David Henry Barnett, 18 years, for selling a classified document to the Soviet officials. Over a period 30 years during the 70s, uh, Barnett, a former CIA agent, revealed the identities of some 30 CIA officers and other classified information to the KGB in exchange for money. Manning, of course, did not release uh, this information for money, and there has been absolutely zero, zero contention by the prosecution during um, the entire trial that national security was harmed in any material way. John Walker Lynn, so-called American Taliban, was convicted of a slew of terrorism and conspiracy charges in 03 for fighting with the Taliban against the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan. He was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Harold James Nicholson, the highest ranking CIA official ever convicted of spying for a foreign power. He was apprehended in 96 at a Washington area airport with rolls of film bearing images of top secret documents. He was subsequently charged with espionage and accused of having taken up a two and a half year operation to hack into agencies' com uh, computers and provide Russians with every secret he could steal. He received 23 years in prison. Anna Belen Montez, 25 years for passing classified information to Cuban government. For 17 years, she was an analyst for the Defense Intelligence Agency, carried out a dynamic spy operation for Cuba. She was caught in 2001, laid, later pled guilty to espionage. Kevin William Harpam, a white supremacist who attempted to bomb a Martin Luther King Day parade in Spokane, Washington, pled guilty in 2011 to attempted use of a uh, weapon of mass destruction in an attempt to cause bodily injury. In 2011, received a 32-year sentence, all of whom received sentences less than Manning. Justice!